Hi, Leo. This is going to be your January 2022 general reading. It is not going to resonate with everyone. Please keep that in mind. If you have not checked out the 2022 forecast that I uploaded recently, you may want to take a look. So they're all in playlists on my channel. I did a general 2022 forecast, a love forecast, and also career and money for the first three months of 2022. So January, February, and March. And the energy in your readings has been amazing. Uh, so I do feel like you're in for quite a great year in 2022. Very exciting. Um, you guys, I am going to pin a comment down below with a link to my website. You can go on there to book with me or subscribe to my newsletter. I am offering the 2022 forecast as private readings this year. A lot of you have taken advantage of that. Those are going to be available on my website probably for the next couple of months. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in interested in that, please check it out. I'm also going to include uh, links for my social media accounts on Instagram and Facebook if you'd like to connect with me there. And then lastly, I did want to mention that the majority of the ducks that I use on the channel are in the description box with a link next to each one that will direct you to my Amazon storefront. You can just click and browse away. Okay, so um, I've already pulled the overall energy. Then we're going to get tarot. Um, we're going to look at life in general, love specifically, and then career and money. Um, I just feel like you're starting off the year so strong. Uh, the first message that is coming through is from the Moonology deck. It is a south node energy, and it says, don't let your past hold you back. So it's really about those fears and those doubts that are coming up. Now, I will speak about the South Node just a little bit. Our South Node, we all have different placements, so you'll have to take a look at your chart and see where your South Node is. But our South Node is our automatic response to something. It is the way that we behaved in past lives. And so it's something that is known to us. Whereas our North Node is what we are meant to express in this lifetime. So North Node is this life, South Node is past life. Um, so there could be a pattern of behavior or belief system from a past life that is holding you back. It's bringing up fears and doubts. And it could also be something in this lifetime, experiences that you've had that make you hesitate to, you know, taking a leap of faith, um, you know, just really going for it. But what I'm seeing is it's time to release any doubts because the next card that we have is the Seven of Keys. This is the Ascent. This is from the Akashic Tarot. These cards are very different, but this talks about soaring to new heights. And I know this message has come through for you before. Um, this is about your success being guaranteed. There's nothing that can take this away from you except this belief system will hinder your progress. Um, you will make it to the top of the mountain eventually. You can make it quickly or you can, you know, trudge along and go on all these detours. It's up to you. Very, very strong energy. Now, the general message coming through overall for your life in general is the angel of love. And this is such a beautiful energy. Um, this is speaking to tender connections that are being prepared in the energetic realm. So I'm going to get some tarot on this and see what this is about. Um, this is also about, um, you know, speaks about being compassionate with others and especially with yourself and i feel that this is a little bit connected to don't let your past hold you back so you may be beating yourself up about some choices some things that happened in the past and this is saying be compassionate with yourself let it go today is a brand new day every day is the chance to start again with different choices every day is a brand new beginning you guys so be compassionate but there are these connections 
questions that are being prepared energetically right now. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> We've got the magician. I love it. This is a new beginning. This is about creation. It's about having skills and tools and knowledge um, that will allow you to manifest and to create. So if love is something that you are wanting, um, you have what it takes to bring this into your life. We've got the Knight of Swords coming through. This is about making a decision. It's, you know, it's having clarity and yeah, it's, it's about having clarity and being truthful with yourself, okay? Because this does, this the swords are about communication. So it's really about being truthful with yourself. Um, if you haven't been in a relationship in a while and you've told yourself, oh, I don't really have time, I'm focused on my career, whatever, um, I, I feel like that's not quite the, the whole truth <laughs> and nothing but the truth. Um, so yeah, this is about being truthful and then taking action um, toward what you're really wanting. Because with the ascent coming in, you guys, you can have it all. You can have it all. And we've got the two of cups coming in. So it's just making a decision and then taking action. And this partnership, this beautiful love partnership is going to come in for you. This is a divine partnership. Okay, um, so if you've been on the fence, even if you are with somebody and you've been on the fence about this, I feel like it's um, it's it's it really comes down to you just making a decision that you're in it a hundred percent, and that goes for your intention as well. You've got to be there a hundred percent, or you're not going to be able to call it in. So if there's any internal conflict it's going to be really important to work through that, okay? And I do feel like the past is, um, you know, impacting you somewhat. Now, with respect to love specifically, we've got this optimism um, coming through in a consciousness card. I love this. This is solar plexus energy. This is about feeling very empowered, very self-confident, very self-assured. And you guys... Um, I just uploaded the cancer uh, reading, and so if you are on the cusp of cancer, one thing that came through for them is confidence is the key to accept, is the key to success. And the the opening messages were, you know, confidence, and they are the architect of their lives. And I'm feeling a similar energy with you. Um, if you can. Um, you know, if you can dream it, you can build it. Uh, so I feel like you are going to move into this very optimistic energy when it comes to love. And maybe some of you simply need to see this reading so that you'll let go of your fears and your doubts and, you know, just, um, just, come to this place of knowing that it really is about mindset. It really is about belief. It's like, oh, I can have what I want. Love can come in for me. Oh my gosh. Yes. Change your mindset, change your life. We've got the 10 of cups here. This is happily ever after. This is coming on top of the optimism card. So this is coming in for you, you guys. Um, love is coming in. It is a divine partnership. Um, whether this is going to come in January or later, it really depends on you. Um, it could come quickly. It could take longer. We all have free will. And right now, I will say that, you know, it is a bit difficult to predict timing because timelines are shifting very very quickly right now. Um, but this is definitely something that's coming in for you. And then, oh my gosh, we've got the Six of Wands and we've got the Empress. Um, wow. The Ten of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Empress. This is amazing energy. And this is with respect to love. So, success is guaranteed. You can have this happily ever after. With the Empress coming through, this is also about a new beginning, about creation, fertility. The time is right. 
um, the divine, um, the, the empress is the divine feminine. So this is the awakened feminine. So this is either you waking up to your own divinity and realizing your worth and that you can have it all, or this is um, someone coming in for you. Um, okay, this divine counterpart, because we did see that two of cups. So, and it could be, um, you know, both energies for the same person, meaning this does represent you, but it also represents somebody who's coming in for you. So this is definitely a divine counterpart who is coming in. Um, very, very positive. These messages are so clear that this is going to be a really brief reading today. Um, so coming through work and finance, we've got the yang energy, and I love this. This is fire, which represents passion, determination, um, you know, strategy, excitement, curiosity. Um, it's a very, very masculine energy. The yin energy would be very feminine, and then the yang energy is very masculine. It is about you know, really taking action, really going for what you want. And I don't know if you can see it, but there are these stars here. So it's almost like by taking action, the stars align for you in career and finance. Um, wow, this just looks really, really good, Leo. I'm not surprised because the readings that I've been doing for you have been off the charts positive. Yeah, good stuff. Let's look at career. The three of pentacles. So, um, yeah, you're building. You may be um, working um, with some partners, with some, um, you may be working as a team. You may be collaborating with people um, in January, and it's going to bring you a lot of success. You're going to make a lot of progress. Uh, it could simply be that um, you're seeking out others' opinions, but there's something about teamwork. So, um, you know, if you are feeling stuck and that you can't do it yourself, I would uh, simply reach out to some others for their opinions, for their help. This is going to get you where you want to go. This is going to help you progress very quickly and then we've got the three of wands and i love this card it's such um an expansive energy it's a hopeful energy this girl is looking out to the stars and she's dreaming of you know the future and what's to come so this is a future energy but i i just sense that you are going to be feeling really sort of revved up, excited, um, reinvigorated about career and finance. You're, you're really going to feel like anything is possible. It's that unstoppable energy. And I think that was one of the, um, the titles for one of your yearly forecasts. I think it was the general forecast or maybe the career and finance, but they were all super positive. So you may wanna take a look at those. Um, but yeah, this is really positive energy. Um, it's about having great expectations. Wow, and then we've got the two of wands. And this is about leaving the past behind focusing on what's ahead and just, you know, taking steps. Uh, this shows two people building together. They're building something. Um, so I, I just feel like you're gonna see a lot of progress in your career. Um, you're gonna be feeling really good about it, um, about your decisions, about the way forward. You're gonna be hopeful for the future. Uh, so this looks amazing, Leo. I hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, Happy New Year. Thank you for joining me. And please like, share, subscribe, and hit the little bell to be notified when I upload new content. Sending you lots of love.